Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. It is Friday, and that means it's Viewer's Choice Day. Now, what that means for those of you that are new to the channel or those of you returning after some absence, we put up a poll so that you, the viewer, can decide what we're going to film about on a Friday afternoon. And in this case, it was all about Japanese whiskey. I put up five different whiskeys for you, the viewer, to choose from. Now, the first two are Miyagikyo and Yoichi. These are both single malt whiskeys. The next three whiskeys are Fujimi, Toki, and Hibiki. And each of those are a blended whiskey. And the clear winner though was Hibiki, and it took 42% of the vote. Now, that's fantastic, whether it's people already know about it or it's just much more popular or much more visible and people know about it. So what we'll do is we will make three cocktails with this whiskey. And before we do that, let me give you a little bit of information about it. Now, Hibiki whiskey is made with blends of different whiskeys. Now, it has two malted whiskeys, one by Yamazaki and the other one is by Hokoshu. The other part is a single grain whiskey that comes from the Cheetah Distillers. So you've got three awesome whiskeys blended together by Shingo Tori, and he is the master distiller of Suntory. And they put out a fantastic drink. One of the things I love about this, first of all, is looking at it and just looking at the bottle. It's got the 24 sides of the bottle, like the traditional Japanese calendar. And you know what? The packaging just blows me away, and that's what grabbed my eye to it first. However, what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a little bit of a taste and just let you know what it tastes like. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a, got a gorgeous, gorgeous light amber color, and immediately we get some nice floral notes. In fact, it's sort of a sweet floral note. That is so good. That is so good. You get a little bit of caramelized honey. You get a little bit of cinnamon, some cardamom. Faint smokiness and a little bit of spice. It's just great. And you know what? It's got a nice clean finish and it kind of gives you a lingering honey taste. And <laughs> you know what? If you like whiskey, I definitely recommend you get find yourself one of these because this is truly an enjoyable whiskey. However, this is a cocktail channel and we're going to make cocktails. So you know what? We're gonna start with three simple cocktails that are easy to make that anybody can make at home. So let's get into it. Now the first cocktail that we're making is a Japanese whiskey ginger highball. Simple, easy, a build in the glass cocktail that contains four ingredients. And the first one is Angostura bitters. Our next is a Japanese whiskey. In this case, I'm using Hibiki. Also, I'm using ginger beer, and I'm using Canada dry ginger beer, and then you need soda water or seltzer, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm using Schweppes. So, grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a nice highball glass, and what we're going to do is we're gonna fill in some ice first. Three and a half ounces or 105 milliliters ginger beer. Two ounces of soda water one ounce or 30 milliliters Japanese whiskey, one dash of Angostura bitters, stir, and then garnish with half an orange slice. And this is a Japanese whiskey ginger highball. All right, this next cocktail is called The Beast, and it has a whole bunch of ingredients, and we need cocktail cherries, we need lemons, limes, orange, some sugar cube, Angostura bitters, some good Japanese whiskey, in this case I'm using Hibiki, and ginger ale, in this case I'm using Canada Dry ginger ale. Now, it's simple and easy, and you're gonna build this in your glass. So grab your glass, and what we're going to do is add two cubes of sugar, four dashes Angostura bitters, one cocktail cherry, one orange wheel, one lemon wheel, one lime wheel. Cut your citrus wheels in half, Place them in the glass, muddle them gently, add some ice, two ounces, 60 milliliters Japanese whiskey, and finish it off with ginger ale. And stir your drink. All right, and that is a beast of a cocktail to make. 
the beast. Now your third and final cocktail is called a black ship, and it takes its inspiration from the black ships under Commander William Perry, who sailed into Japan in 1853 and forced Japan out of its isolationism. However, this is a four ingredient cocktail that is actually shaken. So we need some lemon juice, some Japanese whiskey, in this case, hibiki, and uh, some port, and I'm using Graham's 10-year-old port, and some pomegranate juice, and I'm using palm unsweetened pomegranate juice. So grab your lemon, chop it in half like so, one teaspoon or five milliliters lemon juice, one ounce or 30 mils pomegranate juice, a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils port, one and a half ounce or 45 mils Japanese whiskey. Fantastic, I'm getting low on this. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that I should make cocktails with those other whiskeys and whether we should try them out. I really want your opinion on that. So what we're going to do now is shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds with ice. Fill your glass with ice so you can control the dilution. Put your lid on top like so. Make sure you got a good seal. Give it a shake and shake it with a smile. All right, smack that off with the strength of a thousand black ships. And that's a lot of strength, I'll tell you that much. Now, you're gonna put this in a Nick and Nora glass. And what we'll do, just so it comes out nice and clean and sharp, we're going to fine strain this. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Gorgeous color. Now what you wanna do is take a pre-cut lemon peel and then just kinda of twist it like so over, over top of the, uh, the black ship here and just drop it in like so. And this is a black ship. And these are three fantastic Japanese whiskey cocktails. So we have a Japanese whiskey ginger highball, we have the beast and the black ship. Now I'm not gonna taste any of these for you because I want you to make up your own mind. They're all fantastic. However, I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make these down in the description down below for you. If this is your first time in my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.